I didn't know what she was talking about because I didn't know that he was there, but then later I was like, oh, she must be on his girlfriend. So you know him. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's good. Let me finish. <laughs> so she's all like, you bitch, you fuck you. Izzy! Sorry. Uh, F you, you B, and all that. Just talking like a maniac. And people are looking at us, so I'm obviously starting to feel a little bit self-conscious. And I can't get around her because this place is so crowded. And she's a big lady. You know, like, we're really happy. More chins than a... Come on, what's my mom always say? More chins than a Chinese phone book. Exactly. And so I can't even get around her to escape or whatever. And I'm starting to feel violated, like my personal space and my dignity or what have you. So I just made a fist, hauled off, and boom! What does that mean? It means I hit her. You did not. Crazy, right? Good lord, Izzy, you hit that woman? Well, I couldn't get around her, and she was screaming like a retard. Izzy! Well, what would you have done? Well, I certainly wouldn't have hit her. Jesus! Well, you know what they don't tell you? It really hurts. To punch someone, it freaking hurts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they don't tell you that on TV. It's like, now that on a show is But for me, it was like, motherfucker, that kills. I mean, look at my knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Nothing. You don't approve? I didn't say that. This lady was asking about that. I know, I didn't say anything. But you wanna, though. I'm just worried about you, Izzy. Don't worry about me, she was the one before. That's not what I meant. You were in a bar fight. So? A bar fight, Izzy? This lady was at me! I know, but it's just so... What? Jerry Springer! What's that supposed to mean? You think I'm trashy? You punched a woman in the face. She provoked me! Were you drunk? No. I thought you were getting it together, no, Izzy. I thought you were gonna... You can't keep doing this kind of stuff. You're not a little kid anymore. I'm sorry, I didn't know there was a cutoff date. Well, there should be. For acting like a jackass, there should be a cutoff date. Were you on anything? Were you? No, Nick, what are you saying? I don't know, why did you? Okay. I went out. I got into a fight. I thought it was funny. I thought you'd be amused. Well, I'm not. Clearly. I thought you were going to go easy, easy. I thought you were going to be doing you know less of this. I'm still coping, too. Okay? I know it's not the same, but it's still hard. Okay? Don't do that. Don't do what? Give me a break, Izzy. I'm not allowed to be upset anymore? No, you're not allowed to use him. What are you... Upset? As an excuse? That's not what You're I'm not allowed to use him to justify your own shit. Just don't do that. Please. I guess I'm gonna eat, I'm hungry. Since when do you ask? You're making me feel sensitive. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> to that woman, what did you do to her? I told you I hit her. Before that... Nothing, that was the first time I ever met her. People don't just scream in your face for no reason. Oh, sure they do. You should get out more. <laughs> <laughs> were you sleeping with him, this Augie or whatever his name is? You were sleeping with him, right? Well, what are you getting at? Well, Jesus, Izzy, you tell the story like you're some innocent bystander. You say you don't even know who this woman I is. I don't! You were sleeping with her boyfriend. That's so beside <laughs> the point! It is? Yes, because it had been over between them for a long time. She was only living together because of the rent situation. She didn't care what he did. Then why did she accost you in a crowded bar? I don't know, she's a lunatic. The buggy told her I was pregnant. Why would he? Oh, oh my god, Izzy. No, right? You are not. Oh my god. He's a really good guy back here. You're gonna really like him. He's a musician. Oh, that's terrific. Not like that. He gets work. He's a working musician. Is that why you came by this afternoon? To tell me you were pregnant? Pretty much. You should have known you're not one to pop by on a Saturday afternoon. Yeah, pop by. So how long have you known? A few weeks. You're just telling me now? Oh, Jesus, Beck. Well, what? You didn't want to tell me? No. Why not? What do you think? So fucked up. Does Mom know? Yes. You told Mom before me? Yeah, I had to. Oh my god, is he saying that, Becca? So what are you gonna do? We're gonna keep it, if that's what you're asking. Augie wants to too. We're really excited. This is exactly the kind of thing that gives a person clarity. You see? And, 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 and I know that, uh, that this is probably really hard for you, Becca, for a number of reasons, but can I just... I, I don't need any advice right now, or any lectures, or whatever it is you're composing inside your head right now. I just need you to pretend to be happy with me, okay? I, 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 even if that's not what you're feeling right now, I need you to pretend that you do, okay? Well... <laughs> if you think this baby is going to be clarity or whatever, then of course it's a wonderful thing. I am happy for you, Izzy. I don't need to pretend. Jesus, give me some credit. Thank you. Well, I guess I should probably hold off on this then, huh? What's that? I was <coughs> washing these to give to the Goodwill, but might as well save them in case you have a boy. No sense in giving these away. You know, they're in baby's clothes for so long, Bucket, it would be years before he'd even fit into this stuff. So. It goes by so quickly, you wouldn't even believe it. Uh, well, we don't really have room to store any of it. Well, I'll keep it here. <laughs> You'd be happy I saved them. What, what if it's a girl? Well, then I'll give them to the Goodwill. What's the big deal? You're looking at a couple years worth of free baby clothes here. Think of the money you'll save. It's not really about the money. But well, it should be. You need to start thinking about that kind of stuff, Izzy, especially if the father's a musician. It costs a lot to raise a child. <laughs> It'd be weird, Becca, if it were a boy, to see him running around in, in Danny's clothes. I would feel weird. I think you would, too. <laughs> sorry. No, I know. No, I'm sorry. Of course it'd be weird. I mean, it was a really nice gesture. I mean, you probably won't need them anyway. You'll have Christmas I, I birthdays. Know. I mean, it'd be one day if they were hand me exactly. but it's probably a girl anyway. You think? I'm a little psychic about these things, and I'm definitely getting a girl vibe. Remember I said Karen was having a girl. That's right, you did. And Debbie. Debbie too, I remember that one. I definitely think it's a girl. I hope so. It's what I want. I mean, as long as it's healthy, obviously, but if I had to choose, I'd want it to be a girl. Me too. Ridiculous, right? Nine weeks pregnant in a bar drinking. 